Hey, how you doing today? Thanks for joining me. In this video, we are going to take a look at a four-wire delta system and all the voltages that are associated with it. First of all, I have a 240 volt three-wire delta system drawn out here, which means we have 240 volts on each phase. It also means we have 240 volts line to line. I have it represented over here on our Cartesian plane. We have voltage A to B is our reference at zero, and we have 240 volts at zero degrees. I then have B to C, 120 degrees behind that, which is also 240 volts, but now it's at 240 degrees. And I have voltage C to A, which is 240 volts as well, at 120 degrees, or 120 degrees behind my B to C phase. Okay, so with a four-wire delta system, we have another set of voltages that we can use simply by center tapping one of these windings. Now with voltages and transformers and turns ratios, we know that if we have half the turns, we're gonna end up with half the voltage. So when we tap this right at the center point, we bring it out here, we're gonna call this for now, we're gonna call this our neutral, okay? I'm gonna change this to C, which makes this B. Here's my B, C, and way up here, we've got our A as well. Okay, so A to B, 240 volts, B to C, 240 volts, and C to A, 240 volts. Okay, but like I said, now we have this second voltage that we can access. We have this 120 volts between B and N, and I have 120 volts between C and N because we've center tapped that B to C winding. Now. Code requires, Canadian code requires, that our A leg be classified as our high leg. So our A is our high leg. And what that means is this. In this system, we have this unique voltage that can be present if we're not careful. If I was to actually measure A to N, we could plot this out. We could say, well, we know that A to N vectorally is going to equal VA to B. Plus, if we continue this direction, V, B to N. Okay? And we haven't talked about these second voltages here. If I look at 120 volts between B and N, well, I know B to C is at 240 degrees. If I continue in the same direction as B to C, but I only stop halfway on the winding, I'm going to end up with 120 volts, but it's still at that 240 degrees that B to C is. So we're going to plot that on here. There's my V, B to N right there. Okay, and if I look at V, C to N, well, if I was going this direction to get B to N, or 240 degrees, and I flip it 180 degrees, now I'm going C to N, I'm 180 degrees out of phase from where B to N was. So we draw C to N right up here. Again, 120 volts, half the winding. There's my V, C to N, okay? So back to our high leg voltage here. A to N, voltage A to N is equal to A to B plus B to N. Well, let's follow that. A to B is, we have 240 volts at zero degrees. There's my V A to N, or sorry, A to B rather, plus V B to N. Well, V B to N we just proved was 120 volts at 240 degrees, okay? I'm gonna write these here. VA2, sorry, not A2. Oh, that looks nice. VB to N, 120 volts at 240 degrees. VC to N equals 120 volts at 60 degrees or 180 degrees out of phase from my B to N, okay? so. VB to N, 120 volts at 240 degrees. We can break this up into a horizontal vertical chart. I end up with 240 volts here, zero volts here. I have 120 times the cos of 240 is, should be, uh, uh, sorry, negative 60. Oh, negative 60. And 120 times the sine of 240 should be negative 103.8, somewhere around there. Add these up, we should see 180 right here and negative 103, which puts us 180 over this way and 
negative 103 down this way. So what we should see is our resultant voltage, or our VA to N, right here. Which if we do Pythagorean's theorem, we end up with 208 volts at, if we calculate out the angle, if we say 180 divided by 208 gives us 0.866, which when I arc cos is 30 degrees, means that we are 30 degrees behind VA to B, which puts us at 330 degrees. Okay, so again, that is our high leg voltage. The problem with that high leg voltage is we need to make sure that it's never present in a normal system. Okay, join me in the next video and I'll show you how we can separate that using two separate panel boards. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.